Good morning, this is Angela with Progress Permaculture. It's a very early morning. French Fry is trying to figure out how to get down from his roost because it seems like he needs to learn how every single morning. Wanted to show you all a few quick images of the garden. You can see here I have ripped up all of the annual veggie garden. The only thing standing is one annual kale and my perennial tree collards over here, two different types. All of the other annual veggies have been ripped up. I am waiting on a delivery of wood chips so I can mulch the garden. The birds have been let out for the morning. You can see our turkey roost up here. So the turkeys took to roosting up on top of the hops arbor. And so we thought, well, let's just make that their roost. So we built a little cover for them out of scrap material and girl turkey loves to sleep underneath it and boy turkey has taken to sleeping on top of it and then he can't quite figure out how to get down in the morning. So there's some, some gobbling and some, some distress as he tries to figure out, oh, how do I get down again? You can see it's not cold enough for the trees to have lost any of their leaves yet. It's chilly this morning in the 40s but not cold enough for things to have dropped leaves, so not quite time to prune. I'm way, way behind on pruning right now. You can hear the ducks out making their happy noises. So this time of year, I typically just pull up everything and I chop it up and I throw it back on the beds. And then I'll add other amendments that I may need, maybe add some rock dust minerals because I'm constantly trying to remineralize and feed my soil. Maybe it will be adding chicken manure and duck manure out of their houses, trying to build up that fertility in my annual veggie beds. This is just the beginning. We live in a wet, mild climate, and that means things break down very well in the beds over winter. So I don't have a separate compost bin right now. The system has worked really well for me. Basically annual veggie chop and drop. You can hear girl turkey is calling to her boyfriend, asking him what, mm, Barbara. You can hear that Blondie is calling to French Fry, telling him to get with the program. I wanted to extend a quick thank you to all of the really encouraging, lovely comments from everybody. I'm sorry I haven't been able to post as much over the last week. The next few weeks it may also be a little bit lacking. I have some significant um, things I need to take care of in my personal life, uh, family members who need a quantity of help that um, is more than they have in the past. And so I'm pretty, pretty darn busy. I'm pretty maxed out right now. I did want to let you all know that the pattern is dropping for my dragon mitts on November 1st. I'm going to have that ready to go, both video tutorials for those of you who purchased the pattern and also mitts that I have knitted myself that will be for sale. So um, that will be coming up. I'm thinking of also just offering it for free to my top tier patrons. I feel like that's a pretty good thank you that y'all deserve. I appreciate your support very much. So I'm gonna get back in the house. I have quite a bit of paperwork to do this morning. I'm still here, I'm still posting. I'm just really busy and needing to manage the, the care giving aspects of my life a little bit uh, more intensely right now. So I'm gonna go ahead in, but I will be back very soon from out here in my permaculture garden. I hope you all enjoyed this look at what it's like doing morning poultry chores and what my annual veggie garden is looking like here at the very end of October. You can hear Blondie is calling to French Fry, telling him to summon up some doggone courage and get down.
He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Thank you to my new patrons, Julia, Faith, Rox, M, and Lynn. I appreciate your support very much. Please be sure to check out my dragon mitt pattern and mitts for sale, which will open on November 1st. Thank you.